Good morning, everybody. It is 7.53, November the 10th. <coughs> Time's gone by quick enough, isn't it? And we know, um, we were talking with another brother in Christ yesterday about this, and, it's, and he gave a pretty good description of it. It's like if you got a gallon of milk in the refrigerator, and you look at that date that's on it, you can easily, you know, we see, just by what we see going on here, that it's getting very sour. It's getting past the, way past the expiration date. You know, that it doesn't have long to sit in the fridge. Or at people's time, it's, it's quickly approaching. I got a couple of readings. Um, this this morning I just thought about this you know and uh, because it's our prayer the Lord told us to pray you know how do we pray to our Father God in heaven and he said this is how we pray our Father which are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so on earth now, Jesus told us, you know, he, he's the bread of life. You know, he is the bread. So, this is, listen to what it says. It says, give us day by day our daily bread. In other words, this is something we have to be doing daily. Following him daily. Not the things of this world, the cares of this life, the pleasures of it and all that. It says, love not this world, man. Where people are blinded. This is the hardest thing to get across because most of the world, you guys, like this is the days of Noah. Few people are going to be getting this. Few. You got ministers, pastors, in the pulpit, on YouTube, that are constantly telling people, you don't need to. Grace plus faith and nothing else. You know, nothing. You guys, it's bad. Now listen to this next one. Forgive us our sins. For we all for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You guys, now you've heard that in Daniel's where it says, Many will be tried and made white. But the wicked will continue to do wicked and not understand, but the wise will understand. Now, you hear that where it says many will be tried and made white. This is what's happening now. This is why you've got these ministers of uh, teaching people hyper grace. You know, now you don't need to be pet, man. Once it's done, that's done. You can never lose it again. Never. Even if you're sinning. And are they ever telling you to pray daily to ask the Lord for forgiveness? No, they're not. They say they're encouraging sin, actually. But listen, most of these people that are following their teachings, I thank God for the scriptures, man, because this is where I get my peace. I don't like to see it, but this is where I get my peace. Um them after having itchy ears they seek these teachers they want to hear this they want to be told this they want to hear the lies okay James chapter 1 verse 12 now listen to this remember what it says many will be tried and made white listen to this when he is tried blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. You guys, this is not the time to be playing with your salvation. And that's what a lot of people are doing, exactly just that. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There has no temptation taken you, but that such is common to man. But God is faithful.
God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. See, you see, when you hear these guys saying, man, we're sinning every day. See, they're not resisting it. They're not overcoming temptations. When you are tried, and see, that's what's happening. A lot of people are being tried. And they have to overcome these things because it's of the devil. It's evil. It's evil. But will, with the temptation, also make a way for you to escape. You know, that's why he says, draw near to him. Draw near to me, and I'll draw near to you. You know, that you may be able to bear it. Then James 4, 7 through 10. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted, mourn, weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, your joy to heaviness. <laughs> See, God's got a beautiful place for us, you guys, in this kingdom of heaven, man. It's going to be beautiful. He doesn't want our joy and love and all that to be here, of this place. We're here to know what good and evil is. We're not here to have love this. The devil wants you to, though. He wants you to. That's why you got all these big ministers on tell a lie or television and uh, all these big ministers. And then he sought ministers after him, and they're in all the pulpits. They're everywhere. You might have a few here and there. You know, I, I, I wouldn't know. I've, you know. I've been to a lot, and I'm tired of looking at them, you know? None of them wanted to hear this message. They don't want to hear this message. And the Bible even says why they don't. Trying to get the New Age Hyper Grace churches to hear these words is like kicking a dead horse, telling it to wake up. Scripture says why? Because they love not the truth. So God sends them strong delusions to believe the lies. Or the devil has blinded them. And it's like it says, the cares of this life, the pleasures of this life is what did it. And scripture tells it, but they still go after it. But they would not seek teachers, but they would seek teachers such as that having itchy ears. Love not the world, nor the things that are in it. Here in Daniel, now listen to this one. In verse 7, 25, he will change the times, laws, speaking great swelling words against the Most High. Who do you know that's really changed the, the times of things faster than anybody I've ever seen? Obamacare. Lit the White House up. Uh, rainbow color. <laughs> like I said, he's just the frosting on the cake. If we didn't have the cake, we wouldn't have the frosting. Okay? And the candles on that cake are Obama and the Pope. I've never heard anybody speaking like I've heard them speaking, you know? Talk about, like it says in Daniel 7.25, that little horn that comes out, that one little horn. People are going to say, that was him, that's the one that did this, yeah, yeah. You know? He'll be speaking great swelling words, the Most High, and he shall wear the saints out. I don't know about you guys, thing that I've been getting tired of is trying to get people to read their scriptures. That wears you out because when you're dealing with people that are so hanging on to this, and I was shown that in a dream as we were leaving raptured and out, many people like still tied to the things in this world. They don't want to let it go, you know? It's like, you know, going someplace and somebody that just doesn't want to leave you know, they like it so much there, they want to stay. And that's what this is, people that really want to stay here. They don't want to leave. Even though this life is but a vapor, they, you know, they can't wrap their minds around something greater. Acknowledging God in heaven who created us and it. Everything. Anyhow, you guys, I'm heading down. I'm going to go do a video down, down below. 
get some gas and maybe a little carton of milk. Anyhow, you guys, God bless everybody. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.